So let's talk about all the materials and the things that we are going to be using for today's project. First we have the yarns, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. Remember that the links for the yarns will be in the description below for you guys to check it out if you guys want to buy the same shades that I'm using in today's video. This yarn right here that I'm using is from the brand Hayfield and is the Bonus DK which is the yarn weight, so yarn weight number 3. Also, this one is 100% acrylic. You guys can use wool if you guys want. I really love this yarn for winter and autumn. It's not itchy, it's not scratchy or anything like that, so I really, really love that. But if you guys want, you can also use wool. It's just like a preference. You guys can use any other yarn that you guys like. And continuing here with the materials, I'm going to be using a small pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a measuring tape, pins i'm going to be using two different hooks one for the project which is the four millimeters hook and then the other one it's something that i'm going to be doing going around my zipper and i'm going to be using a 1.75 hook for that and as you can see right here we are going to be attempting to add a zipper to the bomber jacket which i'm not sure if it's gonna work we are going to be trying that in today's video i have both a zipper which is a 56 centimeters 22 inches zipper in the color ivory cream ish and with that i also have some buttons if i want to mix with buttons or if i just going to end up having to add buttons rather than the zipper so we are going to be trying to add first the zipper and then if it doesn't work then we are just gonna do buttons at the end so before i show you guys how to start with the actual crochet i just want to explain and show you guys how i found out the sizing for my bomber jacket and for basically also the sizing of the rectangles that i needed to do as well and for the sizing of each of the panels here going this way as you guys can see this one right here was just a very simple drawing that i did to know exactly how i wanted my bomber jacket to look like and also the different colors that i was going to be using as you can see this one here is the front of my bomber jacket and this one here is the back and the sizing that i decided to do was 50 centimeters wide and 55 centimeters here for the length as you guys can see and my arms are 46 centimeters and here is 23 centimeters wide but also remember that we have to do double this amount so the front and the back of the sleeves as well so it's kind of like in a round so once you know exactly the centimeters for the length and how wide you want here the bomber jacket you're going to be deciding how many squares you want for the front and also the back you want it to be exactly the same and then also to go up as well this is something that we can just work it out going up so first we just have to find out how many squares to cover here the width here of the bomber jacket so what i did i grabbed my 50 centimeters and i divided by the amount of squares or rectangles that i wanted here for the front so i wanted four rectangles here for the front so what i did i did 50 centimeters divided by four and that gave me 12.5 centimeters and this is how i found out the sizing for each of the rectangles here for my bomber jacket and for the length right here you're just gonna have to work it out how you guys want i wanted to do a little hemming going all the way around so i planned on the sizing that i wanted so what I did, I got the six centimeters and I removed from 55 centimeters, which is basically my length. And then I decided the length for each of the rectangles. You guys will see that it's just a lot of explanations, but it's super, super easy to understand once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the front panel, which is basically the same for all of the other parts here for the front and the back but then the other ones will be just without the decreases right here and it's just gonna go all the way up going straight and this is how i wanted all the colors kind of to be on my bomber jacket so what i wanted is the front to have the same colors on both sides here 
and then the back i want it to be all colorful and also the sleeves all colorful and then also the um, the cuffs and the hemming right here to be purple but i'm going to be showing you guys everything in the video as well so for this one i'm going to be using green pink and purple i'm going to be starting with my green one so we are going to be first starting right here with a slip knot and then we are going to be creating a chain that is long enough to cover the width of your rectangles and my chain is going to be a chain of 22 plus 2 for the turn so i'm going to be starting right here with a chain of 22 so once you've done your chain you're going to be chaining an extra two and then on chain number 22 you're going to be creating the first half double crochet so how we create a half double crochet you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook you're going to go through the stitch you're going to be grabbing the yarn so we are going to be having right here three loops here on the hook and now we are going to be yarning over and pulling through all those loops together so that's how we create a half double crochet so now i'm just going to be continuing here with my half double crochets throughout my chain and then i'll meet you guys right at the end so i'm getting towards the end as you can see and you want to make sure that you cover all of the 22 stitches that you had here on the chain to go up here the rows i'm using this technique that you don't really have holes in any of the sides which i really really like so this is the technique that i'm going to be using and this method is basically chaining two so we go up the row we're going to be turning our project and then we are going to go into this very very first stitch right here usually we skip this one and go into the next one but for this technique i usually get this very first stitch right here and then here is where i do my very first half double crochet and then i go all the way to the end doing here my half double crochets so i'll meet you guys all the way down so as you guys can see i'm here right at the end and right here we have three stitches so one here one here and the very very last one which is basically this little angled stitch right here this is also a little stitch usually this one counts as a stitch but for this method we are going to be forgetting about this very very last stitch right here and we are going to be just creating the half double crochets into the last two right here so the next one and then our very last one will be this one right here this one is just going to be hanging in there we're not going to be using this one right here if you guys want to make sure that you've covered all of the stitches what you can do you can just count the half double crochets to see if you have 23 half double crochets which is basically exactly how many we had at the beginning of the row this is something that you can also do if you are a beginner so to go up is basically exactly the same chain two turn project half double crochet into this very very first stitch right here so no skipping that one and then we are going to continue all the way down with half double crochets when you get at the end you're just going to be doing your last two half double crochets right here leaving that very last little stitch right here just in there we're not going to be doing that one and then from here we can just continue our rows so now here guys for the length of each of the rectangles here that we are going to be doing what you have to do is to get the length for the bomber jacket that you want minus the hemming right here so you're going to have to decide the centimeters for your hemming i decided to do six centimeters i think i end up doing seven but i'm going to be confirming that with you guys but for now i'm just going to be working with six centimeters so i'm going to be getting that 55 i'm going to minus the six centimeters and then what i have left i'm going to be dividing for the amount of rectangles that i want here for the length so i wanted three rectangles right here so i divided that by three centimeters what i had left from here and then that gave me 16 centimeters so that's basically the length for each of my rectangles 
as you can see right here i'm going to be measuring now for you guys right here as you can see so i have 16 centimeters for this first one and then 16 here for the second and also 16 centimeters here for the third one and the rows is going to depend on the yarn that you guys are using for the pink one which is the only one that is different from all of the other colors i'm doing 19 rows and for all of the other colors i'm doing 18 rows because the yarn weight is a little bit smaller so this one is more like a number two and this one all, all of the other ones are number three so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be creating my 18 rows that i have to do right here for the green one and then when i have to change to the other color right here i'm going to show you guys how i change and how i start my row as well as you can see i have finished the 18 rows here for the green yarn now we are going to be changing into the pink one so what i do i just cut a little bit of the yarn right here the green one and then i just chain one and then i pull the yarn to fasten off and what i'm going to be doing is just create a slip knot here with the pink yarn and then i'm going to be attaching it right here into this corner where we fasten off the green and then we are going to be continuing the rows this way so you're going to be attaching right in the middle of this very last half double crochet right here so right in the middle and then right here we are going to be creating a slip stitch just to attach this yarn and then from here we are going to be continuing the rows so you're going to be chaining two turning project make sure that these two is at the back right here so we can weave in them here with the stitches and then from here we are going to be starting with the half double crochets and then i'm just gonna basically do exactly as i showed you guys with the green yarn we are going to be also repeating exactly the same with all of the other colors if you guys are doing all of the other panels what you're going to be doing is just following the same steps until you have the centimeters that you need right here on this one i have 54 rows in total for the ones with the pink yarn as we are doing one extra row i have 55 rows and for the ones with all of the other colors then i have 54 which is one row less so what i'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to do this one because this one is basically just working all the way up without any decreases or increases or anything like that just working straight all the way up so for this one is going to be a little bit different so we are going to be doing for this part and this one for these two panels is going to be the same as this one right here but then when i get into the last one we are going to be doing five rows and then when you get into the row number six right here we are going to be starting with the decreases so what i'm going to be doing is create right here my pink part so the 19 rows right here with the pink and then i'm going to be changing the color into the purple one i'm going to be doing five rows and then when i have the five rows here completed i'll come back and then i'll do with you guys the decreases right here for the first row here with the decreases we are going to be starting with a chain of two and then working all our way to the other side until we have two stitches left in which is going to be where we are going to be doing the decreases so i'm just going to be doing right here my row until i have two stitches left so right here as you can see we have one and two stitches this one we don't really count as the last stitch as we were doing for all of the rest right here so we are just going to be following exactly what we did into all of the previous rows so to create the decrease you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook you're going to go through the stitch and you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to be doing that again into the next stitch so wrap around the hook and then you're going to insert into the last stitch and you're going to pull up a loop 
right here we are going to be having five stitches on the hook as you guys can see what you're going to be doing is just yarn over and pull through all of these loops here all together so now for us to go into the next row we are going to be chain two turning our project and then we are going to be creating a decrease into the next two stitches so just exactly as I showed you guys into the previous row so that's how you do the decrease right here for basically the next row so now we are going to be continuing with half double crochets until the end of the row we are going to be starting the next one and then I'll meet you guys when we have two stitches left right here so the one that we did the decrease and then one before this stitch right here that we did the decrease so this one right here so I'll meet you guys when I have two stitches left right here so when you have two stitches left, as you can see, I have one from the rows and then this one, which is basically the last one. So right here, we are also going to be creating a decrease. So you can just insert it kind of like in between the decrease and this very first half double crochet that we've created. So right kind of like in the middle, then right here is going to be the last stitch and then you're going to be creating a decrease right here as you guys can see we can already see the decrease happening right here and this is how it's going to look like once we do all of the other rows so what I'm going to be doing is just following the same steps until I have a total of 18 rows here for this side as well so just follow the same steps and just continue with the decreases also remember that the decreases are only on one of the sides so on this side right here and not on this side this side we are keeping it straight just doing decreases on one of the sides of the panel so I have just finished right here with the rows so I have 18 rows for this one so it matches exactly the other side right here now what we are going to be doing is chain one and fasten off so what we are going to be doing now is basically creating all of the panels that we need so i'm going to be showing you guys now so this is going to be my back panel i cannot fit everything here in the camera but this is how it looks like so it's four rectangles like this and three like that so this is the pattern that i decided to go for the back so i have yellow purple purple blue green blue pink yellow green and pink again right here you guys can just play around with this but this is basically how it's going to be sewed together and once you have figured how you want all the colors to be and once you have the back and the front completed we are just going to basically lay everything flat and we are going to be starting to sew everything you also want to make sure that all the little yarns that you did within right here they are basically facing up so facing towards yourself because this is basically the reverse right here and what i'm going to be doing guys is just sewing everything together what i decided to do is basically if i have let's say here I have a blue yarn then I'm just going to be using a little bit of the blue yarn and then I'm going to be sewing that with the blue yarn and then if I have let's say here pink and pink then I'm going to be getting a little bit of the pink yarn and I'm going to be sewing from here to here so the sewing is going to be super invisible and no one is going to see the sewing if you want you can pick one of the colors to sew everything in place I just decided to be more like a perfectionist this time and do a little bit better so i'm going to get a little bit of the green yarn right here and then i'm going to be threading right here my tapestry needle with my green yarn i'm also going to be using a double yarn here on my tapestry needle so it holds the sewing a little bit better and then here right at the end i'm just going to be creating a knot and then cut the excess here at the end as well 
I'm going to be starting right here so I'm going to zoom in right there with you guys so to begin we are going to be getting the very first stitch from this side and then the first one from the other side sew it together until you reach nearly the end and then you're just gonna go through the end right here just to fasten off right at the beginning so you don't have to do that again and what we are going to be doing is just following the rows right here and sewing the two together And then when we get here at the end, we are going to fasten off. So how you guys fasten off is basically going through one stitch from this side and one from the other. And then you're going to be creating a little loop right here. You're going to go through the loop and then you fasten off right here. Right here, I'm just going to be cutting a little longer the yarn so we can tie with the other one that is going to come on the other side so now i'm going to be getting a little bit of the pink yarn and then i'm going to be sewing here close and then i'll show you guys what i'm going to be doing with these two yarns here once you have finished sewing both parts what we're going to be doing is just creating right here a knot with these two yarns i do usually like a triple knot right here and what I do is just cutting the yarn right here. To fasten off these ones that are basically in between the panels, what we're going to be doing is moving one into another stitch. So for example, this one is right here. So I'm going to be moving the pink one right into another stitch. And then the blue one into another stitch, maybe from the front right here. And then right here, I'm going to be creating a knot with these two yarns, a triple knot right here. And then right here, we can just cut the yarn. That's how I'm going to basically weave in all of the yarns here around my project. If it's only one like this, what you guys can do with your tapestry needle, thread the yarn and then you go through a couple of stitches it's already right here but if it's basically from the side as you can see right here so you're basically just gonna go through a couple of stitches once you're happy with that once you're happy with that you're gonna go back into some other stitches and then right here we are going to fasten off so you go through this last stitch again and then you go through that loop and fasten off right here and then you go through another stitch and you fasten off here as well just so it's a little bit more secured in place so this is basically how I weave in so I don't need to show you guys every time I weave in a yarn so you guys know already how I weave in and if I tell you guys that I'm going to weave in you know what I'm basically doing so what I'm going to be doing now is sewing the other two that I have to do so we create the back panel and then I'm going to be doing that off the camera so I can show you guys how the front is going to be so I can do the sewing all together so now the front of my bomber jacket we have the blue and yellow and then another one on both of the ends so basically the sides and then right at the front we have the ones we did the decreases so this one and this one right here and this is how i'm going to be sewing them together not the middle just the sides right here so now i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the the sleeves i'm going to be showing you now how they look like and we are doing four panels in total for the sleeves so it's two for each and all of them will be colorful so you guys can go ahead and choose the colors that you want to do 
for the sleeves as well i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this in a little swatch and then you can do the sizing that you guys want i'm going to be measuring this one as well for you guys so the length for my sleeves currently it's 42 centimeters and here the width of the sleeves is 22 centimeters remember that we are doing two of these so it's going to be 44 centimeters going around so for these leaves right here i've created a chain of 39 plus two to start the rows and in total right here for the rows i've done 45 rows so that's basically what i needed for the measurement that i wanted my sleeves so first we are going to be starting with a slip knot and then we are going to be creating a chain that is long enough to cover the centimeter that you want for the width of your sleeves i did 22 centimeters so for my one was 39 chains plus two to turn into the next row so I'm just going to be doing here just a couple just so we can do a little swatch and then we are going to be holding the last one in place chain an extra two and then into that one we are going to be creating a half double crochet and then for this row it's basically just normal just one half double crochet into every stitch here from the chain and to move into the next row we are going to be chaining two turning project and we are going to be also following the same technique as i did the panels as well for the front and the back we are going to go into this very first stitch rather than skipping this stitch right here and also following the same step here for the end of the row so you're going to prepare for the half double crochet we are going to go into this very first stitch right here as you can see that one grabbing only the back loop and then creating our first half double crochet as you can see right here we have the front loop and the back loop and right here we have both of them so front and back we are just grabbing the back loop right here so back loop only and creating our half double crochets this one right here will be our last stitch you will see that we have kind of like a little curve right here but that's completely normal and then we are just gonna go into the next row by chaining two turning project and starting this row right here grabbing the back loops only and then this is basically how we are going to be doing the sleeves but of course it's going to be with much more stitches than this little swatch right here and this is how we crochet the sleeves, the cuffs, and also the bottom of the bomber jacket. This is the same method for all of those three things. So once you have your sleeves completed, we are going to be also sewing them together. You're going to be choosing one of the yarns. So I'm going to be doing with the purple. So I'm going to be doing for one of the sleeves, purple and green. And then the other one is going to be yellow and blue and then after we can just decide how we want to attach to the other parts so the front and the back so you're basically going to be joining the two together and you're basically going to be closing here the sides and then you have the top here where the shoulder is the arms and then here where we are going to be sewing the cuffs right here and for the cuffs right here i just want to share with you guys the sizing and the rows that i've done so you guys can also get this one done before we start to join everything together because it's very important for you guys to have all of the pieces completed and then you guys can start just joining everything together and it's going to be so much easier so the cuffs i've done a chain of 12 so a chain of 12 plus 2 and then I've done 19 rows in total so for these two right here and for the bottom right here of the bomber jacket I am planning to do the same width as the cuffs 
but it's going to be 88 centimeters. I'm not sure how many rows that is right now because I haven't completed that. I am doing it right now. I'm going to be doing that right here where I showed you guys a little swatch. So once I have that completed, I will let you know how many rows I did exactly or I'm just going to be writing somewhere here in the video as well for you guys. So I just found a way right here just to lay everything kind of nice and flat so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. Basically a better view for you guys here. So this is the back here and the front. And then we are going to be having one side right here for the sleeves so i'm going to be doing purple and green for that side and then i'm going to be doing blue and yellow for the other side i'm going to be recording this for you guys a little bit far so you guys can get a better view of everything but this is just like a little view of how it's going to look like once we basically sew everything together so I have finished sewing here my sleeves, as you guys can see, it's basically like a little tube now that it fits on my arms. So the first thing we are going to be doing is closing here the cuff, as you can see I have one of them. So you're going to be choosing one of these two yarns and we are going to be sewing this close. Also make sure that when you get at the end that you fasten off and weave in. Also, I'm going to be placing a pin right here so I know that this is the reverse of my cuff and also right here is where I've done the sewing. So now you're going to be choosing a yarn that it's not the same color as any of the ones that we have right here. So I'm going to be choosing a green and we're going to be just grabbing a little bit of this yarn. If I can find my scissors. <laughs> and what are we going to be doing is just threading this yarn right here. So right here, very simple, you're just going to go in a zigzag motion just into this very first row right here, just in a zigzag motion because we are going to be gathering this part here together like this so we can fit into our cuff that we've created. As you can see, it's quite tiny as I want it to be kind of gathered here at the end. So we are going to be basically gathering all of this together and we are not going to be creating any knots right here because you do want to have this free because we are going to be removing this afterwards so as you can see i'm just like going in a zigzag motion through all of the stitches and then i'm going to be doing this going all the way around So when you get here at the end, as you can see, I went all the way around. We are going to be pulling these two yarns until you have the sizing of your cuff. And then we are just going to be creating like a little knot right here so it's not gonna move around. I think I'm happy with that. I think I can work with that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead guys and just create a knot right here remember that we are going to be removing this so you guys don't have to worry too much about this and right here we are just going to be now sewing these two together so you want to make sure that the sleeves is on the right side so i'm going to be turning that on the right side because we want the sewing to be on the reverse we are going to be having right here right side facing the right side of the cuff so you're going to be basically inserting that right here. As you can see. And we are going to be basically sewing the cuff right here. So I'm now going to be pinning these two together in place. So we kind of spread all of the gathering here around the cuff. I'm going to be sewing this one with my purple yarn. 
don't want to make this complicated for you guys I just want to make it as simple as possible but let's start right here and let's just fasten off right at the beginning by going through the loop and then we are just going to be starting to go around and making sure that you guys grab both parts so one stitch from the cuff and one stitch from the sleeve remove the pin when you need and then just start sewing and going all the way around you will see that it will work you guys can always go back when you finished I will show you guys what I usually do when you get here where you have a lot of gatherings as you can see we are just going to make sure that we try our best to get all of the stitches that we have in the sleeves as you can see I just go through the same stitch from the cuff and then I grab more stitches from the sleeve so once you have finished sewing all the way around you just want to turn right here and you just want to check if you covered all of the stitches just to check if you don't have any holes going on if you do for example right here we can go back with a little bit of yarn a little bit more of yarn and then we can just close this little hole right here i'm going to show you guys so what you guys do you just go through a stitch right here so you're going to be creating a knot right here and then we are just going to be basically sewing this a little bit better and then when you happy here with the sewing you can fasten off you can weave in i think i'm happy with the sewing here what we are going to be doing now is just remove this yarn right here the green yarn so you guys can just cut it and pull the yarn as you can see it just comes off very easily and now we are done with one of the sleeves it looks super super pretty this way so this is a better view of the sleeve as you guys can see it looks super super pretty i love this technique right here for adding and sewing the cuffs in place and when i put it on look at that and it looks so pretty guys with all the colors together i cannot wait to see the entire project so what i'm going to be doing now is just repeating exactly the same right here into the other sleeve so i'm going to be having another one exactly like this one right here all right guys i have finished both of the sleeves as you guys can see so they are completed so i'm going to be first sewing here the front and the back together so i have here at the back first the right side is facing me and we are going to be placing the front here right on top with the wrong side as you can see the little knots right here facing me so we have right side facing right side and we are going to basically just close the shoulders here together so just creating a sewing right here So I have finished right here just sewing the shoulders as you guys can see it looks a little bit weird now but it's going to be so pretty as you can see we have the V right here for the neck and then that's basically the shoulders that I've just closed we are going to be now sewing the sleeves in place you want to make sure that you have 
the wrong side facing you guys and the right side is basically here on the inside I have my sleeves on the right side right here so the wrong side is on the inside and what you're going to be doing is basically placing it in between the front and the back right here you want to also make sure that you guys know which color you want to be at the front and which color you want to be at the back I want the green to be at the front so I'm going to be sewing that here with the front and the purple one I want to be at the back so I'm going to be sewing here with the back so we're just going to be sewing it here around and closing here the the sides of the bomber jacket I'm going to be painting all of this in place So now what we are going to be doing is super simple, just sew all the way around right here. Make sure to do super nicely and tight here, also underneath the armpit and then close all the way down here at the side as well. So I have finished sewing here my sleeves in place. I'm going to be attaching the other sleeve in place here on the other side. And we are going to be basically doing all of the rest of the details, the bottom, and also try to attach the zipper. So <laughs> let me go ahead and finish the, the sleeves and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. As you can see, I have finished sewing both sleeves right here and also I have closed the sides as I showed you guys what I was going to do. So now the next thing that we are going to be doing is adding a little extra piece right here as all of the bomber jackets that I see have in which I have one right here that this is basically the one that I'm following the size and what we are going to be doing now is this little extra piece right here before the elastic right here there is like a little piece here so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be trying on one side see if I like it so I'm gonna go and I'm going to be creating one of the sides first so that's how it looks like and then after that we are going to be basically adding this right here I think I like that so I think I'm gonna keep it like this because then I think it looks more like a bomber jacket because most of them they have this so let's keep it as original as possible let's say <laughs> i will show you guys how to do this one right here and also how we are going to be attaching the zipper so we are going to be attaching into the very first stitch that you can find here is basically where i'm going to be sewing the zipper just so you guys know where i'm at at the moment so just go through the very first stitch and then you're going to be attaching the yarn right here with the slip stitch. So we are going to be starting with a chain of two. I'm going to be weaving in this yarn right here already, the end of the yarn. And we are going to be creating right here 12 half double crochets. You can do more or less if you guys want. 12 worked pretty nicely and it looked pretty nice as well. On the other side so I'm going to be doing 12 and then I've done right here one two three four five six seven rows going up so that's what I'm going to be doing right here so seven rows in total so chain two turn project following the same steps as I showed you guys 
when doing right here the rectangles go through the first stitch half double crochet and then continue with the row so i'm going to be doing my seven rows right here and then i'll be back with you guys once you have done the rows you want to do for the bottom right here we are going to fasten off so chain one cut the yarn and fasten off so here we have the front of the bomber jacket we're going to be having to cut the zipper to basically this size right here so from the beginning of this V right here all the way to the bottom so from the end as you can see all the way to the V and we are going to be cutting the zipper to that size so I'm going to be cutting slowly until I reach the sizing that I want I don't want to cut shorter because this is the only one I have and for this one for this part I'm going to be using my yellow yarn as I don't have any yellows right here so the finishing will be in yellow also here going around the top here of the neck so we are going to be starting with a slip knot and then we are going to go straight to the zip and we are going to be starting right here at the bottom of the zip as you guys can see but we are still going to be leaving like one millimeter right here so the zip can go back and forth otherwise the crochet can get caught here on the on the zip so you just want to make sure that you leave a little space like that as you can see so just place your yarn right here on the bottom you're going to be choosing a part right here on the bottom there is a little hard thing right here so i'm doing right kind of on top of it you're going to be punching a little hole right here and then you're going to be basically moving this yarn to the front also remember that this hook it's a little bit smaller for this yarn so you have to go quite slowly and then you're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull through the two loops here at the top very very slowly just like that and then we are doing one more here on the side quite close to the other one we are just going to be repeating exactly the same So once you have created two right here we are going to be just chopping that little corner off just like this as you can see and then you're going to go through that same little hole from the second one that we've, that we've created and then you're going to be doing three more inside of that one So now it's going to be quite easy we are just going to be following the same steps going all the way up the zipper so you're going to be punching another hole very very close to this one right here so maybe like do one or two millimeters to the side you're going to be punching a little hole right here grabbing the yarn from the back move to the top and then you do that little thing right here i think this is a single crochet but going around the zipper and then guys is just following the same steps going all the way up no secret <laughs> the only thing that i would say is that you must try and keep the holes here that you punch as straight as possible i know that it's going to be a little bit hard but try to be as straight as possible and I'm going to be going all the way up and doing the same steps so before I continue I'm just gonna be burning right here at the beginning of the zip so they're not gonna unravel just be careful because you can burn yourself doing this so when you get around here I burned that too much so don't worry about that we are just going to be doing here around four single crochets into that same one three or four until we kind of cover most of this and then i'm just gonna go right close to the top right here gonna make a little hole punch a little hole right here 
and then I'm gonna move it to the front with a little bit of the yarn and then right here we are just going to slip stitch and then we are going to chain one right here and fasten off but we are going to be leaving just a little bit more of yarn right here because we have to fasten off and to just sew here the top I'm going to show you guys so I'm going to be threading right here this sewing needle this is like a sewing needle with like a very sharp tip and also a large hole right here at the top and then with this one we just have to sew it around here this little part right here of the zipper just kind of going around it and sewing that in place because here it's where we need to stop the zipper from going all the way through so we are just going to be kind of creating a little stop right here for the zipper not to go all the way through just around three four times is enough and then here at the back we can just fasten off within so i'm just going to be removing this side here that i have ready so we can sew right here so i'm going to be pinning right here where i have to sew because it is going to be moving around so you want to make sure that you have this super nice and still we are still going to be doing a little finishing here for the neck so you're not going to be able to see this extra here for the zipper okay this is my right side so you guys will be moving this part here on the reverse so what we are going to be doing is grabbing one stitch from this side and then one from the zip right here i'm going to be starting right there then right here we are going to be making a knot then from here we are just going to be sewing the two together So as you guys can see this is how it looks like once the zipper is attached to the front I have one of the sides completed now I'm going to be doing exactly the same to the other side so I'm going to be following the same steps and I'm going to be creating the same into this side and then I will be back to show you guys how to attach the bottom and also finish the neck here off and as you can see when I move the zip all the way up it doesn't go through the top because we've added the little sewing right at the top so you do want to make sure that you do that for this side here as well so I have finished sewing my zipper right here at the front as you guys can see I just did exactly the same as I showed you guys into this side right here so now we are going to be just adding the finishing right here on the bottom of the bomber jacket in which I have it finished right here. I've done 78 rows in total. If I need, I can add more as well, but what I wanted here for the bottom is to just have a tiny little bit tighter, not too much, but just like slightly tighter here on the sides maybe, because that's how usually bomber's jackets are. But let's see how it goes. You can see here that it's, a little bit smaller as you guys can see it's not exactly to the sizing here at the bottom it's just a tiny little bit smaller so i'm just going to be pinning everything in place as well as i usually do i'm just going to be finding here the middle of the hemming right here right here is the middle i'm going to be pinning right here in place with my new pins that i got so excited that they are yellow <laughs> So just going to be pinning this one in place so I'm going to be pinning it now here at the front so we can gather this part right here and also pin in place and what I'm going to be doing now is just 
pinning these two right here in place and then I'm just going to be gathering here the front and the back kind of like that so I can sew exactly in place where it needs to be uh, sewed in place. And then I'm just going to separate a little bit here to one side and then a little bit to that side and then just pin right here. So double yarn on my needle and also I make a knot right at the end. So I'm just going to be starting the sewing a little bit up so the knot here at the end will be kind of like around here and not right at the end. Just like a couple of stitches like up right here as you guys can see, not right at the edge. So that I'm just going to go down here and then go up again. So when we get to around here, that you can see that it doesn't fit perfectly here, we are just going to make it fit by going through kind of like the same stitch from the purple into probably three stitches here from the yellow. And as you can see right here, it already fits perfectly into this area here that we've pinned in place. So from here all the way to here. Now we can just continue sewing as normal. And then I'm just going to be following the same steps going all the way around. So as you guys can see, I have finished the bottom right here of the jacket. It looks pretty nice and neat as well. I really like that. So now the last thing that we have to do for the jacket, I'm very excited to see and to try it on just to see how it looks like because I've been doing this for like probably like a week now. So the last thing that we have to do is just to create a little finishing here all the way around the neck here on the v-neck and the detail that i'm going to be doing here will be basically the same size as the little zipper here thing sticking out so probably like around let's measure that so it's going to be around two centimeters so first we are going to be starting with the slip knot and then we are going to be chaining three so one, two, and three. Then we are going to be chaining an extra two so we can do the half double crochets. And then go into basically the stitch here, number three. Create your first half double crochet. And then go all the way down with half double crochets. Go up here with a chain of two, turn, and then you just follow the stitches. So I'm going to be doing here four half double crochets as we have four into the first row. So that's how I'm going to be doing the detail here around the neck. So I'm just going to be continuing here with my rows and you just want to do as many rows as you need to go all the way around the neck. So I'm happy on how this one looks. As you can see, it fits quite nicely around. So what I'm going to be doing is just sewing this all the way around. I cannot even believe that I'm 
finished because I was so so excited to see I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see anything but you guys will see better when I try on and everything oh my god guys it's so perfect no way it's amazing I love 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 this so so much but yeah guys this is everything for today's video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this super cool 80s bomber jacket i really loved how everything turned out i'm so so excited just to try it on and take a lot of pictures for you guys as well and post on my instagram so you guys can see and do the thumbnail i'm super excited now just to do all of this and also i'm going to be linking all of the instagrams for the other girls here in the description so you guys can see what they came up with so we've started all the way from 1920s and then we went all the way up to 2000s so you guys can see the crochet through the years and what they they did and what we've created together as well the video that we are going to be posting so yeah guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so you can watch more funky and fun cool videos like this one so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next friday bye